Did you have fun helping the Pischettis today? <laughs> the nervous chef cooked what he thought were his Giardino burgers. Yeah. Ooh. I, uh, <laughs> I hope you all like them. Mmm, I've never had a meatless burger before. Mm. I don't think they're perfect, Netty. I'm finished. Finito! Never is when I will ever cook ever again. Never! <laughs> How could this happen? <laughs> um, I, I think something happened to those patties. Something monkey-oriented. <laughs> ah, I see. His recipe was perfect. How can I prove it? <gasps> Everyone, follow me. Here is the chef's perfect recipe. <laughs> no, no, that is not the recipe, George. That is chef's plan for expanding our garden. Ah, George, did you make burger patties from this? <laughs> <sighs> okay, we start over. Garbanzo beans, mashed. Uh-uh, oh. <laughs> we don't do that by hand. Tomato. George helped follow the recipe, and even remembered something the chef forgot last time. <laughs> what can I be if I'm not the chef? All I know is cooking. Netty. Netty! Netty! There are fire trucks outside. Is everything okay? It's more than okay. It's delicious! What's going on here? <laughs> George is telling you that he made the other burgers, not you! Oh, Netty. You can understand, Giorgio? No! What's important is that these were made from your recipe. <laughs> Chef Piscetti, this is the best vegetarian burger I've ever had. <laughs> Wait a minute, I thought you say you never had one before. Yeah, so it's the best one I've ever had. Excuse me, is this yours? Has your picture on it. Ooh, woo, something sure smells good in here. My Giardino burgers. Oh, I'm so happy I may, I may cry. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> Chef sure are emotional, huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, anybody want seconds? Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Gnocchi had never seen George look so worried. Yeah. George showed her the problem, but cats think every wiggling finger is a game. They can't help it. <laughs> Maybe he didn't need a new yellow hat. Maybe all he needed was something like a yellow hat. Uh, 
Hunley tried not to wonder what George was up to. He really tried. But he had to know. <laughs> what would make a good hat? Same color? Perfect! <laughs> Hunley had wanted to see what George was up to, and now he couldn't see anything at all. Good color. Too floppy. Not floppy, but too pointy. Perfect. If he wanted to be the man with the drippy yellow bag hat. The man with the yellow ice cream stick pyramid hat. The man with the yellow blow-up hat. George realized that no hat he made could ever be the man's yellow hat. But the hole didn't look so bad when there was yellow paper inside. That was it. He didn't need a new hat. He needed to patch the hole. The paper looked good, but something made of more hatty material would look better. Something like a yellow sock. George, did Hunley drop by for a shower, or is one of our towels running away from home? <laughs> George, where's my hat? <laughs> Gnocchi, don't touch my clean hat. <laughs> it has to be perfect for tonight. <laughs> George, why does my hat have a tail and a hole? George couldn't believe he didn't think of that. You see? It looks great. All right, we've got to go. Did you take a bath? <laughs> Fixed hat, fresh suit, clean monkey. I feel like there's something we forgot to do. Fish crackers. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Well, in your hooks. We were here first. Huh? 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 George was going to need another plate to keep three whole quints here. Where's the police boat? <laughs> hey, I've got juice at home that goes great with fish crackers. Let's eat these at my house. <laughs> Joy, 
garage. <laughs> well, that's the same juice. Okay, we'll stay here so we don't have to wait for fish crackers. <laughs> fish, fish crackers. Ooh, ooh, ooh. George had to admit he had no juice. Happy birthday, boys! Happy birthday! <laughs> George, meet our sister, Sprint Quint, the track star. She won three Olympic gold medals. Oh, pshaw. That was long ago. Count them. Three. The quints were quadruplets. Now George had four people to yell surprise at. This was the best. So I hear you need help putting a jogging track around a pond. Are those fish crackers? Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> but before he even tried to split 12 crackers onto five plates, Another quint showed up. Flint, plant, wind, sprint, happy birthday. Happy birthday. <gasps> George, meet our sister, Mint Quint. She prints money for the government. Want samples of my latest work? So I hear you need help figuring out the cost of a pond. <laughs> Five? Oh, yeah, that's right. This is all of us. We're quintuplets. You want any help with those crackers and juice, George? Could one little monkey keep five quints here without juice? Oh, no. George! Ah! It's me! Everything's ready. You did a great job. <sighs> no juice? Well, let's go to my house. We'll have crackers and juice as we draw up our plans for your pond. And train. With a police boat. And jogging track. And it won't be hard to pay for. Look, more fish crackers. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Fish crackers. Ooh, ooh. George thought he'd probably need better bait, too. <laughs> well, first he'd need bait. <laughs> George had been eating a carrot when he saw the eel. Maybe eels like carrots, too. Or other favorite monkey foods. Unless George could figure out what an eel ate, Bill was going to take it home for sure. <gasps> if he moved fast, George could get that eel's picture. Oh, it's heavy. <laughs> I won! I get to take the eel home. Ah, oh, it's just.
just an old bicycle tire in her tube. Phew. Now I'll have to replace this hook. I'll be right back. You're not going to have time to beat me. Here was George's chance to get the eel first, so Bill couldn't take it home. The eel was out of reach, and George was out of breath. <laughs> this looked bad. Soon, Bill would be back with his new hook. <laughs> A hook was just what George needed. he could get the water to sit still. didn't want Bill to get the eel, but he didn't want the eel to remain trapped either. George, this is what happens when you don't use the proper fishing gear. Oh! Oh! It's just an old cage. <laughs> George, we have to help that eel get back to its home where it belongs. Mm? Well, that's why I wanted to catch it, to take it home to the ocean. <sighs> Being a city kid, you don't know this, but eels travel from fresh water to the ocean to spawn. Bon voyage, Mr. Eel! That's the proper way to say goodbye to someone headed out on the ocean. All the fishermen came back with tales that day. Mr. Quint's tale of how he freed a whale. And George's tale of how he and Bill freed that eel. <laughs> <laughs> Let's pull him home on our sled. Kent, we're already late and Mom's gonna get worried. We can't just leave him here. How about we get ourselves home first and then we'll give the monkey your snowshoes. We live on the other side of the hill. Climb aboard. <laughs> There's that weird noise again. It's probably kids like us riding sleds a hill or two away. On your marks. Get set. Go! <laughs> 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 Why didn't we give the monkey the snowshoes on top of the hill? Now he has to walk all the way back up. I can't think of everything, and a better time to bring that up would have been on top of the hill. Sorry, monkey. Later. Bye, monkey. Bye. George didn't realize how cold and tired he was till he tried to climb that same hill one more time. Oh, 
thought the only thing that kept him going was the joyous hope of Coco. <laughs> now George could see what made that sound, a cold, lost pig. George was almost at the top. The pig was way over there. He didn't even know if he could help. We can't just leave him here. George wondered how a pig got lost all the way up here, and more importantly, how he was going to get it down. What they needed was a sled. I'd know that squeal anywhere. It's little Mike. <laughs> he got out last night before it snowed. He's never even seen snow before. Must have been completely mystified by it. Thank you, George. I was wondering what took you so long. There's a cup of cocoa inside waiting for you. Oh, yeah! Well, see you later. Okay, take care. He had to stop them before the flowers were all gone. But what would make a cow-proof wall? Then, an idea hit him. Stones are strong. They come in all sizes. And they make great walls. The next day, George set out to build the world's most cow-proof wall. Amazing how many unused stones were lying around. George was too late. The flowers were all eaten. As the cows went in for their afternoon milking, George felt like a big cow-stopping failure. As 
wasn't easy. But George wasn't going to give up. Why was that wall stronger than George's? <laughs> These stones were staggered, which made the wall stronger. This would be the best cow-proof wall a monkey ever built. If he finished it in time. George promised the flowers that he'd save them. George's wall had saved the last flowers. <sighs> the next day, George brought the man with the yellow hat to see how he helped the flowers. <laughs> You're taking me to see these flowers? Okay, I'm coming. I don't see any flowers, George. The wall stood, but somehow the yellow flowers were gone, replaced by these things. Were those your yellow flowers? <laughs> oh, oh, George, it's okay. That's what's supposed to happen. They change. <laughs> well, that's supposed to happen too. Those are seeds. They'll land somewhere and new ones will grow. So George's wall had helped the flowers to survive. And he had until the new flowers grew to think of a way to keep cows away from them. proper workout, and you can be as big as me in five years. George couldn't wait five years. Not today. had grown half a licorice whip. Eating like a giraffe and exercising really helped. Maybe he could stretch himself the last half a licorice whip. That's it, honey. Go to sleep. Nothing makes you grow like a good sleep. And I want you to grow up to be big and healthy. All this growing made George tired. If sleep made you grow, he could do two things at once. <laughs> sleep made George grow a lot, at least in his dream. I'm sorry, you can't ride the Turbo Python 3000. You're too big. <laughs> George didn't grow as big as he had in his dream, but he grew enough to be five licorice whips tall. <laughs> My hat! I lost my hat! 
seeing Betsy lose her hat reminded the man with the yellow hat of that fateful day. That's it. I I'm not afraid of roller coasters. I'm afraid of losing my yellow hat. Your hat is safe, Betsy! One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> you grew already? <laughs> <laughs> huh? Aww. Any chance you've been nibbling on those licorice whips, George? <laughs> when you were first measured, the licorice whips were longer, so it took four of them to measure you. <laughs> but every time you took a bite, you made it smaller, so now it takes five to measure you. <laughs> so you didn't grow at all. Sorry. What's with all these sour faces? I don't like sour faces at me park, you know. Oh, hi there, Captain Zany. You see, this monkey's too short to ride the Turbo Python 3000. Too short? Bah! He's not too short. Monkeys don't grow very big. That's why we have the... You must be this tall if you're a monkey side. <sighs> you can ride, George, and I'm coming with you. But first, give me all your licorice. Huh? <laughs> 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 Hunley always led people through the lobby, so he used his skills to lead George around obstacles. There was more to monkey sitting George than guiding him around the furniture. Hunley cleaned up after him too, which had its rewards. <laughs> he also helped with those itches that George couldn't reach. George's chair driving improved, and Hunley looked forward to coming over. Good morning to you too, Hunley. And then, something changed. <laughs> Remember, use the crutches, don't step on your cast, and be a good little monkey, uh, and dachshund. They taught George to use the crutches in the hospital. <laughs> but he needed practice. <laughs> Pretty soon, George was as good on crutches as he was on his own feet. And as soon as he got really good, Good news, Hunley. George is allowed to walk on his cast now. George showed Hunley how his leg was healing. But dachshunds don't read x-rays. Hunley didn't like to get too far from his lobby. 
but George wanted to go for a walk. He also wanted to go for a climb. But that wasn't allowed. Hunley was one serious monkey sitter. They went to the park every day. George drew some good pictures. And Hunley discovered he liked lying on grass and taking slow strolls with a monkey. See? The break's all healed. Hello! George was thrilled to be completely free again. Back to normal, I see. Good as new. Thanks for all of your help, Hundley. <laughs> Guess you're back on lobby duty with me, boy. George wanted Hunley to come with him. But Hunley had a job to do. George brought his friends back so he and Hunley could be together. <laughs> George was back to normal, all right. I'll be home later. Remember, no bothering the new neighbor who is not an elephant. <sighs> the new neighbor wasn't an elephant. He had an elephant. George felt very misunderstood. Why, the elephant must have gone out, too. Well, that thing would never fit inside the apartment. Could there be a chainsaw in Mabel's? So many things made similar sounds. How could George figure out what he'd been hearing upstairs? For George to be certain, he had to go right to the source. That sort of sounded like his neighbor, but not really. The man with the yellow hat was right. George hadn't heard an elephant. But then, what had he heard? That was the sound. So the upstairs neighbor has a Galapagos tortoise that's been wrapping gifts and making juice. George, I'm going to say this one more time. There is no way... Yes? Hi there. We're your downstairs neighbors, and... Oh, so nice to meet you. <sighs> George! <laughs> uh, 
What's he doing? I think he's looking for your, uh, elephant. My what? <laughs> Oh, we heard some loud sounds. Um, very loud sounds. Very loud Oh, I, I am so sorry. Sometimes I get carried away working on my art. Art? I am an artist. I do murals. I mix my paint here. <laughs> then I use these rubber stamps I made. <laughs> Here's one of my completed works. <laughs> oh, uh, we also heard something like a bag of rocks dropping. Do you use rocks in your work? No. Uh, oh, that was a bag of groceries. It fell off the counter. Huh? Uh -huh. <laughs> hmm. What on earth is that? Sounds like an elephant finger painting. Huh? It does. George never realized that Hunley spent so much of the day playing. This was fun. <laughs> Only his hands weren't used to being dog paws. George realized he needed a few small changes to be a good dog. <laughs> Did you have a nice ride, Dante? <laughs> I bet you did. <laughs> well, what is this? Well, Hunley, it looks like we have two lobby dogs today. <laughs> what do you think of that? <laughs> Say bye-bye, doggies. But being Hunley wasn't all fun and games. It helped to be long and low to do this job. Oh, I thank you. Look, Dante, Hunley found your ball. Good dog. George wanted to be a good dog, too, just like his new hero, Hunley. Hold the elevator. <gasps> and here was his chance. <laughs> but picking up things with your mouth was harder than it looked. That's a baby, right? Hi, baby. <laughs> Thank you, um, that's a dog, right? Thanks, doggy. Hunley couldn't believe it. Everyone knew dogs were more dignified than that. Ugh. Being a dog was hard work. Just look what it did to Hunley. Delivery! Looks important. We'll get it upstairs right away. Come on, lobby dogs. <laughs> Uh-oh. Hey, looks like we're stuck. Oh! It 
It's okay, Hundley. We can handle this. I'll sound the alarm. Uh-oh. Oh. There's only one way out. But we need somebody who can monkey up. Say. Huh? <laughs> You've been such a good dog, George. I almost forgot you were a monkey. <laughs> George had almost forgotten he was a monkey, too. <laughs> there were things monkeys could easily do that no one else could. <laughs> Hello? I I'd like to report a stuck elevator. Best of all, George didn't even have to think about how to be a monkey. <laughs> it just came naturally. A flashlight! Thanks, George! <laughs> and a bottle of water? And cushions? And a radio! And sometimes a monkey was just the thing to be. <laughs> George! You did it! Thanks, George! Even Hunley thought George was pretty amazing. He might even make a good dog someday. But George didn't want to be a dog anymore. All he wanted was to take a bath, brush his teeth, and go to bed in his nice, clean room. Luckily, someone left these skates in the recycling center. <laughs> See, what we'll do is... I'll have skates on, then I'll lift the corner of the wagon, then you pull it, and me. Ah, uh, sometimes, George, I think I'm a genius. <laughs> oh, gee, skating's harder than it looks. Hey, I know. We'll take one of these skates, Strap her to the block of wood, right? Then... <laughs> or maybe we'll just use your baby carriage wheel. That's what I was going to say. Well, here goes nothing. Oh, yeah. Hey, yeah. it works. <laughs> kind of wants to turn all the time. <laughs> I guess we need a wheel exactly the same size as the other ones. Huh. <laughs> nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> nope. Huh. You know what? I'm starting to think hurling Betsy's wheel down the hill wasn't such a great idea after all. We'll never find another wheel the exact same size as the other three, unless we shrink them all to this size. Oh, I guess I'll go call Aunt Margaret. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.
one of those, remember? See, there's three left. George, that's it! There! Now they're all the same size. George, you saved the day. Hi, you guys. Ooh. Hey, George, did you help Steve go get my wagon? Look, I can explain everything. See, I had this crazy idea. I thought if... Wait, we didn't go get your wagon. We brought the wagon with us to get your package. But that's what's in the package. See? Aunt Margaret got me a new wagon since the wheels on my old one kept popping off. Uh, well, what's the matter? <laughs> Looks great. George, I'm so grateful to you for helping Steve. I want you to have my old one. <gasps> <laughs> Too bad we never found the fourth wheel. Those baby carriage wheels won't hold up long. Ice cream, anybody? Oh, sure. I wonder what happened to that other wheel. Oh well, some things are just a mystery. <laughs> Whoa! Hold it closer to the heavy end! <laughs> George, do you want to do something just like we do that you don't have to practice for? <laughs> Hand out these flyers to everyone. That's how I started, you know. Oh! <laughs> okay, bye bye. <laughs> Cats. George was proud to be a starter zucchini. He gave out every flyer. And that night, everyone he knew came to the show. Everyone. Gnocchi just wanted to watch. She found a quiet place where she couldn't possibly bother anyone. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, for our first amazing feat, we are going to need a volunteer. Hmm. What about you, Chef? Oh, yes. Yes, me. Yes, yes. <laughs> Okay, just relax, Chef. We'll do everything. This is like a dream come true. Gnocchi ran to Chef Biscetti whenever she saw him. So why should now be any different? Is that a... Uh, uh... Oh, it's Gnocchi. Leo, don't sneeze. I... I... can't... 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 Uh, uh. Look, they made Noki part of the act, too. George knew this was a problem. Leo, just back up. Uh, uh, I can't back up! <laughs> Gnocchi couldn't decide who she'd rather go to. So, she stopped. 
and fought it over. I can't last much longer. Giorgio, <laughs> walk out on the wire and take Gnocchi away, okay? On the wire? Isn't that the monkey who always knocks us down? Gnocchi? <laughs> 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 Go with your show. <laughs> this was just like that mop. So George shifted his hands. Now I know where George was all day, practicing to be in the show. After a sneeze break, the show went on and was a great success. And when it was over... Because of their great balance, we voted to make George and Chef Piscetti official zucchinis! Oh! <laughs> and you're welcome to practice with us anytime. So that was all real? Oh, I'm glad I didn't know. I, I would have worried. Ah, nothing to worry about. George is a natural. But maybe he should stick to the high wire. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>